If I had the chance. This week, it's my pleasure to introduce a young star of British pictures who in recent weeks has been acclaimed by press and public alike for her brilliant performance in Adam and Evelyn. You also saw her in Great, Expe Great Expectations, The Blue Lagoon, and Hamlet. Here she is, gang, sweet and lovely Jean Simmons. Hello, everyone. Hello, Ben. Hello, Jean. My, but you're growing up. You know, I hardly recognize you. Well, time marches on. You know that. <laughs> yes. Uh, remember how I used to come over to your house and bring you an ice cream? It seems just like yesterday. Yes, doesn't it? By the way, what happened to you yesterday? I missed you. You did? Yes, I missed the merry tinkle of your tricycle bell and your happy cry of ice cream. Well, lovely. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I, I just do that for a gag, Jean. I'm really not an ice cream salesman. Well, you ought to take it up. It's jolly good ice cream, and your prices are very reasonable. Yes, but uh, let's not talk about me. I want to tell you how much I enjoyed your performance in Adam and Evelyn. Thank you, Ben. Well, uh, aren't you going to return the compliment? <laughs> Didn't you see me in H-E-L-L-S-A-N-G-E-L-S? -E Why do you spell it? I have to. For some reason or other, every time I say Hell's Angels, everybody laughs. <laughs> You see what I mean? See, Jean, have you seen that picture? Yes, I have. I saw it at my local cinema last week. Of course, it's a little dated. I was slightly younger than... Oh, the cinema fixed that all right. Really? How? <laughs> they showed the film on a wrinkled screen. <laughs> Is that so? Well, let me tell you, I still photograph very young. Take that film of yours, The Blue Lagoon. Now, Donald Houston is a good-looking guy and a fine actor, but, well... Well, I had my heart set on that part. Why didn't you try for it? I did. For weeks, I walked up and down in front of your studio wearing a sarong. Oh, that was you. He thought it was somebody picketing the turkey's bars across the street. <laughs> Why did you stop, then? Well, I had a slight accident. Just between you and me, safety pins nowadays aren't as safe as they used to be. <laughs> what happened? His case comes up next Monday. <laughs> Hello, Jean. Hello, Bebe. Oh, don't take any notice of her, Jean. Bebe's little jokes never work. Oh, why don't you get a job? Can't you find something for him? <laughs> Even if he can't say great expectations, you know, get him something in your picture. Something that doesn't need too much experience. Listen, I've had plenty of experience. <laughs> well, when I became an actor, moving pictures had just started to talk. Who are you kidding? They hadn't even started to move. <laughs> <laughs> don't you worry. A lot of people would like to see me in pictures again. Who are they? Well, I'll leave it to the boys in the band. Boys, wouldn't you like to see me in pictures again? <laughs> Funny, it wasn't like that when they rehearsed it. <laughs> no, I told you, Ben, you should have joined the union. Seriously, Jean, how about a using Ben in your new picture so long at the fair? Well, I don't know, B.B. You see, it, it's a costume picture. Oh. Hey, that's wonderful. I'll have to wear an old-fashioned suit, huh? Yes, Ben, the one you're wearing would do fine. <laughs> well, how much would this part pay, Jean? About five shillings a day. Hmm. Well, do you think I'd have a chance to pick up a little extra? You just try picking up one of those little extras. You just try it, Ben. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Don't move. Just stand there. Let me feast my eyes on your ethereal loveliness. Excuse me. <laughs> Darn it, you move. <laughs> Meg, don't you remember me? Remember you? You mean I actually know you? My memory is worse than I thought. Of course you know me. I was in a picture with you when I was 14 and a half. But you were just a kid then. Look at you now. Gosh. <laughs> Why, Vic, you're bloody. I'm not. <laughs> Why did you drop your eyes? I didn't drop them, they fell out. <laughs> well, you don't have to be shy just because I'm a big girl now. It's not only because you're a big girl, it's, it's partly because I'm a big boy. <laughs> just listen to that, isn't it awful? Vic, a lot has happened to Jean Simmons since she was in a picture with you. For instance, she's played opposite Sir Lawrence Olivier in Hamlet. So what? I very nearly did play Hamlet myself. I even went so far as to dye my hair. What hair? <laughs> Another comic. 
I just didn't look the part, Mr. Simmons. <laughs> Were you too thin? Yes, thin. I was so skinny. When I walked onto the set in my tights, the director grabbed my left leg, the producer grabbed my right leg, and they said, let's make a wish. <laughs> well... I'm making a wish, too, and I wish you'd go away so I could ask Jean what her secret ambition is. Have you got one of those things, Jean? Well, I think I have just a little one, then. Ever since I came back from Fiji, I've always wanted to sing a little Fijian song I, I learned from the natives, but I've never had the nerve. I, um, I wanted to talk to it now. Why, we'd love to hear you sing it, Jean. It's all yours, Stanley. <laughs> Isa bula gila tamina no muna ko nararawatina kava beka ko amai kakava ni ko na ko nakita ni lasta isa le ina non kurawa ni ko sana. That was really lovely. And now, listener serenade. Every week.